I just wanted to take more of your time today and look at Meatlug the Gronkle from DreamWorks Dragons Defenders of Burke. This is a surprise. I didn't expect to see a, a wave two already, but it looks like we're seeing some new dragons and I'm really excited as I just love this line. Let's enjoy this guy some more. Here's a novel idea. Let's go backwards and see what he looks in the package. Uh, open design again with the uh, neat die cut box. You can get a chance and really squeeze your uh, meat lug and make sure he is uh, gonna shoot that uh, lava bomb. And on the back here you're going to see some nice illustration. Lava bomb attack, squeeze belly launch, and uh, ooh, I see another new dragon coming out. So really excited about the fact that we're getting a wave two already. Out of the package we have Meatlug here, a George Costanza-like dragon, very stout and wide, uh, very, very nice looking on the detail, has kind of a T-Rex like open mouth going, real nice teeth, he's got a really cool yellow paint, uh, just kind of applied lightly to his gronkles or whatever you want to call all these bumps. Uh, just a really neat looking dragon. He's squishy because of his action feature, but that kind of makes uh, his uh, character all the more awesome for the toy. To work his action feature, just take the enclosed uh, lava bomb ball and pop into his mouth. And this is a kind of a new common toy I'm seeing a lot lately. Uh, just a simple idea. Uh, air pressure shoots a missile or ball or projectile really far and you're gonna have to really give it a squeeze because it's gonna build up that pressure uh, to shoot out and it shoots out like a cork off a uh, champagne bottle. Let's test out that lava bomb weapon with a few of these uh, older uh, bucket of dragons toys that Walmart had a few years back. Uh, they make for a nice little target target practice here so load the ball in and squeeze Haha, <laughs> that works pretty well actually. Uh, the ball is a really lightweight foam, so it's not going to hurt you if it hits you. It just makes a lot of noise. And you got a target better than that. Try again here. See if I can get this purple. Is that hiccup? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> oh. And there you go. Obviously the biggest problem with this toy is they only included one lava bomb and that's really unfortunate as they're really easy to lose since they shoot really far. Uh, I don't really understand. I'm sure they only cost a penny to make. They should have at least had three, maybe five. It would have made this toy a lot more fun. But if you're looking for just the dragon and how cool they look and they look great together, then it's not that big of a deal. Sizing him up with the other dragons available, here he is next to Toothless. Kind of shows off how uh, wide and large he is for a dragon. And crowd favorite Belch and Barf. Uh, just a really neat series of dragons. Uh, they all just are so unique and obviously that's one of the reasons that made the show and the movie so enjoyable. Is just the variety of characters that they have. Here's a uh, uh, Stormfly also in the group here. I'm not sure what happened to my hook fang. He is around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is coming up from high and flying away. Just a great collection of dragons. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite in this line now. Each dragon is so great. If you're looking for a dragon that shoots a powerful projectile, pick up Meat Lug. Uh, he's great for doing that and uh, just a really neat, fun toy to play with. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede.